Hiawassee Dale in their second home home game of the season, fourth game overall. Swain comes into the game with a record of 3-0. and Chris White starting on the mound today, junior left-handed player. I know Perry, we ain't got the scoreboard today, so we're going to have to keep up with it. I think it counts one and one. Yeah, I believe you're right. Ball pulled foul over the left field line. Interesting thing about Swain County this year, Perry, returned nine starters from last year. Big, big boost right there. Looking for big things out of this team. Got them again next year. We'll only lose one next year. Run down your starting lineup real quick. Chris White, as we said, number 22 on the mound. Tyler Schuler behind the plate. Josh Allman at first base. Corey Hipp at second base. Ben Pacey at shortstop. Brad Rowland at third base. Looks like Zane Bennett in right field tonight. Luke Burton in center. And Sean McCourtney in left. Great defensive team. Our nemesis has been hitting the ball, but we've improved on that a little bit this year so far. White delivers ball high. I believe that's going to run the count to three and one. Hawassi Dam's uh, first batter up is uh, Helton. White misses high, leadoff walk. We were talking about Swain coming into this game tonight, three and zero. First game of the year, beat Franklin four to three at Franklin in eight innings. Brad Rowland got the victory on the mound for that one. Luke Burton drove in Justin Crawley in the eighth to give Swain the one run lead, and then Brad Rowland shut it down to pick up the victory. Game two, Smoky Mountain came over here and visited us. Justin Crawley got the victory on the mound. Big day, final score 12 to 2. A lot of hit in that game. Crawley hadn't pitched before, except middle school. He, he did very well when he came out here and pitched against uh, Smoky Mountain. White falls behind the count 1 and 0. Oh. And of course, the other day, big matchup the other day with Blue Ridge. And uh, Blue Ridge wound up in the semifinals of the state playoffs last year. So it was a big game. Went up there after falling behind two to nothing, came back and won six to two. Um, Allman picked up the mound victory that day. Bennett with a three in and save, so good job the other day. White misses high again. It's going to bring up two and zero. Oh. Big thing on that uh, Blue Ridge is uh, there's no little Smoky Mountain Conference this year, so them and Hawassi Dam, who we're playing today, have moved to the Big Smoky Mountain Conference. So this is a conference game for Swain. Yes, yeah, so that gives the Big Smoky Mountain nine teams, I believe, in the conference this year for baseball. I believe they're going to take six bids to the uh, playoffs out of the Big Smoky Mountain Conference this year. Well, state baseball has uh, expanded their playoffs, kind of like football and basketball have all done. White well, checks his runner, delivers strike one. Count goes to two and one. Nobody out here in the top of the first. Batter up for uh, Hawassi Dam is Roberts. We played this Hawassi Dam team when uh, we was middle school, I believe. Seven to three, we, we beat them. They've, they've got a big, big boy on the mound. Runner's going. He's in there. Schuler had a hard time handling it. Runner took off. Just late there on the throw. That's going to make a count three and one. Nobody out here, runner on second. Of course, why hadn't played. He got to play the other night against Blue Ridge. Hadn't threw any this year. Hurt his shoulder in practice, his right shoulder. And uh, this is his first action on the hill this year. And we're going, we really need him, too. Ground ball. Second base, that's going to move the runner over. Hip bobbles it, and it's going to be safe at first base. Going to give him runners on first and third. Nobody out still here in the top of the first. Looks like Dugan up for Hawassi Dam.
probably look for look for a steal here to second try and get the force play Get that man over to second, and it takes him out of a out of a routine double play ground ball. If I can get him there, White checks his runners and goes to the plate. Ball one, throw down to second, and nothing happened. Runners gonna be on second and third now with nobody out. And if you're Hawassi Dam, you got your three hole hitter up. Probably a good contact man. Deals. Design play right there by Swain. Uh, throw into second. Shortstop rolls in, wanting to bait that runner at third to try to go home and score. And uh, they did, they didn't take the bait. Held up. It's early. Not going to take a big chance right now. Try to work it over. No outs. And Swain fell behind the other night at Blue Ridge two to nothing, and, and held the composure real well. And uh, yeah, it's a team used to falling behind truly. Yes. yes. I mean, it's perennially what they do, and it, it doesn't seem to bother them. White gets a sign from Schuler. Batter calls timeout. Something else we should talk about. Of course, it's the first year for head coach Tommy Deals replacing Steve Manley. Done a great job so far. So far, he's he has done a good job, very good job. White delivers. Swing and a miss. Really helped up there at Blue Ridge, Tommy did. He, uh, you know, them boys were tight and lost two last year to Blue Ridge. And uh, they were tight, wanted to win that game. And he really, he really worked a little magic over there, loosening them up and getting them to kind of uh, have fun. Ball gets by the catcher. Here comes the runner, and he's going to come across. Another runner advances third base. It's going to give Hawassi Dam the lead here in the top of the first, one to nothing. Why well, having a little trouble finding the strike zone, but yeah, that's to be expected. He hadn't got to thrown a lot in the last week. I it's, I thought I thought that might have hit his bat when he dropped down. But there was no call there's a lot of it ricocheted off of something there. It might have been Schuler's glove. But uh Bills is out at the mound now. Discussing what's going on. That's the thing you have to, you know, I mean, worry about is you got two big games coming up tomorrow and Thursday. Of course, they go to Rosman tomorrow, which is a big conference game for Swain. And then Thursday, of course, a matchup with West Henderson, who uh, after always playing them annually a couple of times, last year we didn't play them, so restarted that game. And uh, so two big games. So what you're worried about here is uh, kids just looking ahead. Yeah, this Hawassi damn team is uh, going to have some good sticks one through four, I expect, and probably going to put a good pitcher out there on the hill. Can't afford to fall ahead early. And then that, that Blue Ridge, the Blue Ridge team that we beat, they were uh, preseason ranked uh, six or seven. And then Rosman DeMar, they're preseason ranked uh, tenth. And then we go to West Henderson and in 2A, that is right there, two-way. Two-way. They are preseason ranked second, I believe it is. I believe they're third behind third. Um, East Rutherford and North Lenore. Of course, North Lenore won the two-way state title last year. Yep. White well, still struggling with his control as he has walked the second man this inning. Still nobody out. Runners on the corners. Brings up the cleanup hitter. That'd be uh, McDonald. That, uh, that's your pitcher. He's the one we remember. He's throw a little sidearm. Uh, good, good stick. White starts him off with the fastball. Get ahead pitch. 0 and 1. I watched the damn chose not to start the runner that time at first base. White really has, what, two pitches? He just grips the ball differently, and it does different stuff. His fastball. Yeah. Looks like a little wrinkle right there, curveball. Yeah. One and one. Crawley down in the bullpen, loosening up.
Beautiful day out here for baseball. Beginning of March. Runner takes off. And he's going to be out at he's second. Out. Nice throw from Schuler. That's going to give him one away here. Still a runner on third base. That's really a smart play right there. You know, we cut that off last time when there was a man on third. And that time we, we, we let it go all the way through. And the runner at third was looking for that cut play again. And it didn't happen, so he didn't get that jump to score. White misses high. Count three and one here. And maybe not such a bad idea to just go ahead and uh, you know, put the four-hole hitter on. Foul ball, three and two. Don't know what they got behind him, but may not be such a bad idea. Try and get your ground ball, get out of the end in here with just one score and come back in and get you some. I really don't look for Hawassi Dam to, uh, you know, probably top five hitters. And then after that, you know, not to slide anybody, but I don't look for them to be uh, no power, a whole lot of power. Allman going after that pop fly over there in Farrell territory, run out of room. He's had him look in the dugout a time or two. I think somebody was over there telling him he had room in the dugout. Yeah, I noticed that. A couple of glances exchanged. Still full count here. Cleanup hitter up for Hawassi Dam. Pull foul down third baseline. Looks like White is at least finding his groove now. He's thrown four strikes in a row. And I'm sure being out on the hill for the first time this year, he's a little bit nervous. But like you were saying before, he's going to be a big pitcher this year for us. You know, we've got a, a deep pitching staff this year. First time in a long time that we can go. There's a ground ball to Pacey. And it's booted. Run's going to score on the error by the shortstop Ben Pacey. Going to push the score to 2 to nothing. Still one down. Unusual this year. We haven't had many errors in the first three games. But starting out in the first inning here with a couple of errors. And yeah. it, it's unusual this year. Well, a lot. Of, you take a ball, little old bloopers. It looks like little old softballs, you know, hit here. Easy rollers and stuff. And we have more trouble with that than we do hard shots. Kind of that forward, backwards, stay where you are thing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Number five batter up. It's uh, Lockie. You know, up there, uh, Blue Ridge, Pacey had, uh, had two double plays. Uh, I believe there was two. Yeah, in the sixth and seventh. Yeah. Big plays. Uh, timely took him himself that was the right decision white falls behind on the batter two and oh really i hey, can't sorry about Sir. that uh, just just real intelligent ball players uh smart ball players you know you can put athletes out there and if they don't know uh ball uh, you know they have they have trouble with it and uh, these young men are, are true athletes great great athletes and uh, they are ball smart uh, for baseball they are really ball smart well you've got a group of kids here that's played together since they've been in little league and you know they they love playing baseball they play during the fall they play during the spring they play during the summer and, and that's something you just can't replace is experience and they do have a lot of experience, but they're still young. You're going to have innings like this, and then they're going to make plays like this. And, you know, it's just part of being a kid in high school. So on four pitches, White walks his third man of the inning. Still one away. Going to give runners on first and second. Looks like Dills is coming out for his second visit to make a pitching change.
and back to action here. Swain's made a pitch and change. Probably White's, not White's strongest performance, and I know he'll be upset with that, but hey, you know, first time out this year. Crawley goes to the mound for Swain County. Runners on first and second, one out. Swain down 2 nothing here in the top of the first. Crawley delivers, ball one. That is one luxury Swain's got this year. If somebody's not throwing well and it's not their day, he can roll another one out there. And that goes back a lot of depth for Swain this year at pitching. Crawley checks his sign. He goes to the plate. And swing and a miss can even up the count at one and one. But going back to the depth, you got Bennett that throws. You got Brad Rowland that throws. Allman throws. Of course, Crawley. Chris White throws. Aaron Smiley, who's done an excellent job at the start of the season. Yes. Crawley gets ahead one and two. Another swing and a miss. But you've got five guys you can run out there, and they can give you five, six innings, no problem. Seven if you need them. Yeah. And our pitching staff is going to be tested, and especially in a week like this where we play three games on back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back days. Crawley delivers, ball high, two and two the count. And a real plus on that too, Kevin, is uh, you're, we're looking at two lefties in those five. Yeah. And that's unusual for a yes. small 1A school, especially in the western part of the state. Yes. Crawley delivers in strike three, so that's going to push two outs. Our score, Hawassi Dam 2 to nothing in the top of the first. Runners still on first and second. But a good start for Crawley there. First, first battery face, struck him out. Now this is number seven, uh, Pinkerton up for Hawassi Dam. Crawley delivers and strike one. So getting ahead here early, Crawley, and that's important pitching. Won't throw a lot of strikes. I was watching Ben Pacey there. He will absolutely worry a runner to death. Ball in the dirt. Shuler only picks it up. Not going to have a throw. Going to put runners on first and third. Just couldn't come up with a handle on it. Had it there. Really, I think if he'd come up the first time with it, he, he had the, the young man at third, but uh, he just couldn't come up with it. Nobody hurt. Carly gets a swing and a miss to even the count up at two and two. This is that special time of the inning. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Yeah. If you got a ritual, you go through it. <laughs> I think the ritual they're going to have after the top half of this inning is a chewing. And that's going to be strike three on the corner. So in the top half of the first inning, Hawassi Dam pushes across two runs on no hits, two errors, and three walks. Going to the bottom of the first inning, Swain trails two to nothing. Leading off for the Maroon Devils, second baseman Corey Hip. He squares around, lays it down in front of the plate. Picked up by the pitcher, he throws and throws him out. So One pitch, one out. Good play by the first baseman, I and mean, by the pitcher, excuse me. He came off the mound well and filled his position. Nice bunt. Very good bunt. Corey with a ton of speed. Anybody but the pitcher doesn't make the play. You're right. Brings up the two-hole hitter, Ben Pacey, the shortstop. Ben's been off to a hot start this year. Had a big double up at Blue Ridge, drive in a couple runs, tie that ball game up at two. And misses White, falls ahead in the count, 1-0. Ben had two hits, I believe, over at Franklin. One or two. I believe I believe he had two. He, he's he's been on fire. He, nice solid hits. No blooping in the hole or anything like that. Just just nice solid hits. Ball's in there for strike one. Evens up the count at one and one. Getting a sign from Deals. We're back in. Ball gets by the catcher. Does bode well if we can get some base runners. Catcher's having a hard time catching a pitcher. Gets a lot of movement. Kind of delivers from that three-quarter slot. Yeah, we get on. Boy, it'd be nice to get somebody on right here in this first inning while he's having some problems handling that. Get him around. At least get something on the board. 
wind up in delivery. Going to be outside again. Misses three and one. Count to Pacey. Your deal's right here. You got to tell Pacey it's got to be in your wheelhouse. Pacey shows bunt, takes, and strike two. Full count. Strike two. Looked like Pacey thought that would ran inside a little bit. Looked like a good yeah. pitch from here. Yeah. Full count. Nobody on, one out. And Pacey fouls it away to stay alive. Just got to protect now. Got two on you. Well, it's full count. I mean, he throws something in the dirt or something just real, real high. You, you lay off of it. But if it's anything that you think is close, you, you need to try to put a bat on it. Ground ball to the third baseman. Scoop sets his feet, and Pacey beats that out. So an infield single here in the bottom of the first for Pacey. Great hustle there. Come out of the box running. A lot of times you see them hang their head because it hit a little grounder in the infield. Ben didn't do that. Come out running hard and beat that throw out. It's going to bring up the three-hole hitter, first baseman Josh Allman. Like we said, so far this first inning, the catcher's had some trouble hanging on to the ball. I didn't see much of an arm for him in between innings, so you may see Pacey running here. Ball gets away from a catcher. Pacey advances to second base. Has thought some more, but the ball gets over the pitcher's head, and here goes Pacey to third base. Something you always get from Ben Pacey. A lot of hustle on the base pass. Yes. Always looking to take that next base and does a great job of it. So right now, he's looking for a fly ball, something to the right side from Almond. Get that run in the house. He's ahead to count 1-0. Alma very seldom strikes out. He'll put the ball in play somewhere here. Count goes to 2-0. and But talking about running running out things, I was watching the, uh, I don't know, a Major League preseason game last night. No, Kaz Matsu used to play for the Mets. Yeah. Hit a ground ball at second baseman. Took off out of the box. Second baseman, you know, just there's a swing and a miss by Alma. Second baseman just kind of nonchalant. It tapped his glove a couple times. Threw it to first. Matsu beat it out. Yeah, I'm sitting there thinking, hey, run hard. You never know. Count two and one to Allman. Pacey on third base. Ball handcuffs the catcher. That's going to push count three and one here. If you're Allman, you need to be a little selective right here. Yes. Look for your pitch. Three and one, hitter's count. Three and two, pitcher's count. That pitcher's got some movement on his ball. Oh, and there's rip. Allman. Oh, we good may not have to worry about that pitcher anymore. Allman singles right back through the middle, and uh, the pitcher's down. Hate to see that right there. You, you absolutely do. That looked like it hit him solid yes, somewhere in did. the shin. Yes, it did. Hope the young man's all right. Well, we got time out on the field. Let's take time out here for a minute. Back to action. Allman singles through the middle. He's at first base, drives in Pacey, brings up the cleanup hitter, catcher Tyler Schuler. Not sure who his folks are, but they feed him well. <laughs> we got a rev revolving door refrigerator. Boy loves canned chicken. <laughs> and delivery. Schuler pulls one to third base. Third baseman drops it, so everybody's going to be safe. Runners on first and second. Going to have a little E5 there. So just what Swain needed after a, a tough half, top first half of the first, Swain needed to get something done, and they have. Pacey, of course, started all off walking. Good base running put him at third base. Allman singles back through the middle, drives Pacey in. Shula that time hit a crotch rocket right at the third baseman, unable to make the play. Puts runners on first and six. Looks like they're going to pinch run here for uh, Schuler. I know he hates that. <laughs> he always hated me for that during the foul. Yeah, but save him legs. That's it. Hey, guess what? Three games in a row. That's going to be rough. 
catching. Pitch delivery, Crawley back up the middle. They turn and throw to third. Goes across the diamond and going to be safe over there. So a fielder's choice. Allman thrown out at third base. It's going to put runners on first and second. Looks like Chase Snead, I believe, running at second base, who came in to pinch run for Tyler Schuler. Yes. Now here comes Sean McCourtney coming in to pinch run for the pitcher, Crawley. I'm going to bring up Brad Rowland to the plate, playing third base today. And yep. Brad's had a good start to the year. Doesn't have a lot of hits to show for it, but had some just terrific at-bats, especially over in Franklin and at Blue Ridge the other day. Some just great at-bats. Got a little slap down the side over there. He he hits it very well. And here goes Roland to the shortstop. Shortstop's going to take it himself for out number three. And after one end of play, our score remains Hiawassee Dam 2, Swain County 1. Just starting the top of the second inning here. Crawley remains on the mound. A couple of defensive changes for Swain County after the first inning. Crawley, as Crawley gets ahead, one strike and no balls. Zane Bennett has moved from right field to left field. Chris White, who started out on the mound tonight, has moved into right field in place of Sean McCourtney. Crawley winds and delivers and gets ahead 0-2. What we were talking about, Perry, a little while before, it looks like if you get through those first three or four hitters, you know, you can you don't have to worry about a whole lot of damage. Not to take anything away from the kids, but right. No, you're 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 correct on that, definitely. Crawley winds and delivers and strike three. You know, young man right there, you you live on the outside corner and he's not going to touch it. Yep. He, front foot's coming out, uh, just one arm swing through. Uh, I believe this is their number nine. It is. Rankin. Crawley delivers a little bit high, ball one. Around the plate, though. You know, Absolutely. Right there. He's around the plate. Great job right there. Outside corner, count goes to one and one. And that's kind of tough. You have to come in in the middle of an inning, especially the first inning, and uh, start throwing strikes. But Crawley's done a good job of that. Misses upstairs that time. Got two strikeouts. Keep this a short inning right here. No freebies this inning. Re yes, definitely. Misses high again. Three and one. We just want him to put something in play right here. That's it. Let him hit it. Let him hit the thing. And that ball is going to miss high. So as soon as we say that, a base on ball is going to bring off the leadoff hitter. Got one away here. This is their leadoff, Helton. I believe he walked in the first inning. He was one of the three walks in the first yep. inning. Get your ground ball right here, turn two, and go in and hit for a while. Short lead over at first base. Crawley winds and delivers. Outside corner, strike one. So good start to this hitter. Nice pitch right there. Keep it down. Want a ground ball here. Really be nice at ground ball as close as your runner is to, to first. You can really. And that ball is going to be pulled foul down the third baseline and out of play. So Crawley ahead in the count here, 0 and 2. Zane Bennett over in left field, uh, you know, had plenty, plenty of time to get there if it had been uh, within inside the fence. Count 0 and 2, one away, runner on first base. Score here 2 to 1 in favor of Hawassi Dam in the top of the second. Looks like a change up or a curveball that time from Crawley. Misses low and away. 
a good pitch there. You don't yeah. want to give him anything to hit. Make him chase your pitch. Still weighing ahead in the count. I'd make him chase again. Call his steps off, checks his runner. Breeze starting to pick up a little bit. Blowing out to right field. We got two left-handed sticks. Maybe would come into play. That'd be nice. Call it delivers. Third Sharply hit at Pacey. He goes to second for one on to first. And throws a little wide of the bag there, but able to get to first on a sharply hit ball. It's a big out. Pacey had a little yep. bit of trouble with that, and it was a rocket right at him. Yep. Did a good job, took it off the chest, kept it right in front of him. Over to hit for the force out at second base. Allman coming off, made a good play over there, just keep that ball from going to on by. That's a, that's hard to, that's hard to teach a first baseman, you know, Give it up and go get the ball. Ball's the most important thing. <laughs> Don't worry about get, getting the guy out. Let's just get the ball stopped. But done a great job there. Shuler out to the mound and talk to Crawley. I'm sure he's discussing quickening up his delivery. Don't let this kid beat you right here. But look for Helton to be running here off first base. Good base runner, good ball player. Had a chance to play against him a few times this fall. And he, he's a solid ball player. Hits the ball really well. <laughs> So what's the dam's number two hitter, hitter uh, Roberts? And Crawley starts him off with a fastball. A little below the knees. Good pitch right there. Yes. Pitcher can live there all day long. Pop, Pop fly. Up. Looks like Almond's got room. And makes a catch. Three outs. We'll take a little break here until we come back for the bottom of the second. Hawassi Dam leading two to one. Bottom of the second. There's a sharp line drive into the center field, but played nicely there by number 11. Zane Bennett. Got a good hit there. Just hit right at somebody. That's it. Yeah. One pitch, one out. That's right. Awful windy here today. Yeah. If you notice the camera moving, it's because of the wind. Ain't got nothing to do with Perry running around the truck bed. <laughs> <laughs> Going to bring up, I believe, Luke Burton batting in the uh, eight hole today. It is. It's Luke. There's a rocket off the third baseman's glove in the left field. Just getting ready to say, I tell you what, it seems like Luke Burton has been on base every time he's been up this year. Luke's hit the ball. He, he's hit the ball. Walks. I mean, he, he's he scored a lot of runs early in the year. And, you know, Tommy said, we may not get it done one through five, but I guarantee you my six, seven, eight, nine guys are better than any in the league. And, and I believe it's true. Yeah. Chris White coming up to bat in the nine hole today. Started out on the hill, a little bit of trouble there today. Moved over into right field, but first game back was last Friday, and his first at bat, he started a big rally over there at Blue Ridge with a two-out double. Really look for Chris to be aggressive here. Take Luke's strike one. Dealing. No throw. I think that's what you got to do. You know, now move the runner over. Take it. Take advantage of what's given to you, and the catcher really has no arm. Luke got to pay attention here, though. We got nobody out. Runner at second base. Don't want to get picked off here. And there's White slapping one through the hole over in left field. Deals holds Burton up, and the left fielder bobbles it. Good play by by Deals. Nobody out here in the inning. You don't want to make a first out at home plate. Don't want to make a first one. Don't want to make the last one at home plate. Third base. Don't make the first and last third base. Guy can score just as easily from second base as he can from third base with two outs. Or no outs. That's going to bring off lead off Corey Hip. Corey started the game when he attempted to bunt down the third base line and good play by the pitcher. Threw him out. There goes White taking off from first base. Corey takes strike one on the outside corner. Not real sure if they called that on the pitch or the uh, turn around to uh, bunt. Looked a little outside. It didn't look like a strike. No. Big place in the game right here, though. Got runners on second and third. One out. <laughs> Hip falls behind in the count 0-2. And, 
if anything right here you need to make sure you get your runners advanced one out Bennett was a liner in the outfield solid hit <laughs> And hip gets hit. It being not a good play there if you're the pitcher. You're you're heading to count 0-2, and, and you know you try and work inside and you hit the runner. That's not what you want to do on the hill. It's going to bring up Ben Pacey. Bases loaded, one out. And probably Swain's hottest hitter right now. Exactly. Got a lot of wind out here, blowing the camera around. Let's see if it'll blow one over this yellow and green. Good thing about the runners you got on base right now. All three excellent base runners. Good jumps, know what they can do and can't. Pacey takes low ball one, low ball one. He's patient. He's patient too. He won't get up there and just start cutting at anything and everything. He got a good eye. Wind up delivery. Pacey grounds one in the hole at third base. That's going to score Burton. Ball gets by the left fielder. White's going to score. Here goes Hip. He's got good wheels. Looks like he's going to score. And Pacey's going to have a stand up at third base. Single, taking third on the air. Big play right there. Pacey able to advance all three runners. So after being down two to nothing, Swain has quickly come back and erased that deficit and went ahead four to two. Now just got to keep converting. Just put the ball in play. That's it. Good things will happen. That's it. Going to bring up Allman again. Allman singled and drove in a run in the first inning. Back off the pitcher's leg. Wind up delivery. Takes outside. Pacey over there, he's just itching to go. <laughs> he, he's just itching to go. All he wants to do is catch her to bobble it. <laughs> And that's yeah. going to hit Allman right that in the knee. Allman. He comes up limping a little bit as it hits him. Looked like right in the knee. So going to give you runners on first and second, one away. After that, I would say, you know, they'd send Allman in a normal situation. He's got that blazing speed anyway. Deals may, you know, he may saddle him up right here with that, you know, bum knee right there. Going to bring up Tyler Schuler. Tyler reached on an error in the first inning, but hit the ball hard right at the third baseman and has hit it hard the last couple games. Finishing strong instead of weak. And what do I know? First pitch, they send Allman. Third baseman has no throw. He goes to second. Nobody there. So Allman's going to advance to third. Schuler's going to stay at first, and Pacey's going to score to push the lead to 5-2 to two Swain now. If you're unsure or having a bad game, you can rest assured the ball is going to find you. And right now, it's finding the third baseman on every play. Yeah, he did. He did a. He did a good job there. Made a nice play on the ball. Just went to second. There wasn't nobody there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Allman was already running. With the blazing speed he's shown us so far, I'm surprised Deals held him at third. <laughs> yeah, that's it. it had to, it's everything had to do with him getting hit. That's leg. it. That's he was probably afraid that, that slowed him down some right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, the first thing you think of and uh, any of our pitchers uh, bat get hit is one, are they okay? And two, are they going to be able to pitch? There you go. <laughs> I know Almond's slated to go on the hill tomorrow against Rosman. Short break at the mound. Umpire comes out there and breaks it up. Going to bring up Crawley. Crawley reached on a fielder's choice last time. Chase Sneed back in to run four. Tyler Schuler at first base. Don't think there's any question you're going to see him take off right here. And there he goes. Crawley takes strike one. No throw. A big place for Crawley right here. Help himself out. Runners on second and third. Single right here. Score Sneed and Allman both.
Probably take strike two. Look like a change up or a curveball. And shows the benefit of having a pitcher that's about seven foot tall as the catcher nearly throws it over his head. Crawley in the hole 0 2 here. One out. Runners on second and third. And a ground ball right back to the pitcher. Pitcher runs him back and goes to first for the second out of the inning. Smart play there. I w you know, you don't want a chance. Any throw out at home. Uh, Brad Rowland's been hitting the ball. So, uh, the got to give him a chance to get, a, get another run across, across the plate here for Swain. It's 5-2. to two. Rowland grounded out to the shortstop on a fielder's choice his last at bat. Takes strike one at the knees. Sneed gets his lead off second. Rowland takes low and away, ball one. Everything seems to tail. Got good movement. That yeah. usually comes from your three-quarter delivery. Don't really yeah. get on top of the ball. You kind of get around it. The ball gets by the catcher. Here comes Allman. Play it. He gets play. down. He's down. He's safe. Going to be safe. Sneed having visions Sneed. of it. Ball gets Sneed away from the pitcher again. And looks like Sneed's going to be safe. Hey, good hustle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Able to take advantage of the catcher not getting to the ball and then throwing it away. Yep. So we're able to push across six runs in this inning. It was two to one off of yeah. <laughs> not many hits. A couple two or three hits, a couple hard hit balls, a couple hit batsmen. Rolling fouls out. No, it's in play to the second baseman, and he makes the play for out number three. So at the end of two innings, our score, Swain seven, Hawassi Dam two. <laughs> Top of the third coming up. Got the three hole hitter, Dugan up to the plate. Scores seven to two in favor of the Maroon Devils. Justin Crawley on the mound. Crawley delivers inside. May have been a statement pitch after Alvin was hitting the last inning. Crawley. Hey, don't ever hurt to do that. Absolutely yeah. not. Crawley gets a fly ball, bent it on his horse, and it's going to be out of play. Man might not ever accuse Zane Bennett of being fast looking, but he covers a lot of territory in a hurry. Big stride. Big I, stride. I'd like to know what his stride is on every, every step. It's huge. <laughs> He's got a long <laughs> stride. Count one and one here. Crawley winds and delivers. And there's a shot down the right field line. So we're using the whole field in this at bat. We go from pulling one down the left field line to slicing one out of play in the right field line. Luke Burton better be on his horse right here because I believe this might just come to him. I believe I put one up about his chin. See if he'd chase it. And there's a solid single into left field. Bennett keeps it in front of him, throws it in. And a good start to, for Hiawassee Dam in the top half of the third. Lead-off runner reaches on a single. I think Crawley wanted that one down a little bit more. Yeah. Probably not where you want it. Deals has sent Aaron Smiley over the bullpen to start getting loose. We were talking about Aaron a little while ago. Aaron's done a stellar job this year. Pitched uh, about three innings in relief. And is gave up one run. Gave up a home run over at Franklin. But then after that, I thought it was just tremendous. He came back and was able to get rid of that home run right out of his head and came back and struck out the side. So Aaron's done a tremendous job. Valuable asset to have up with these kids. That's a big plus when a pitcher can let it go. That's it. No, you can't worry about water under the bridge or what happened. There's a pop fly. That looks like it's, it's going to be out us. of here. That's gone. So going to be a two-run home run for the pitcher. McDonald. And the ball's laying over here in the grass. I saw Steven was, uh, he was getting out of the way. I'm not real sure. 
Claxton told him to protect the camera. I didn't see much protection going over there. I saw protecting his own head. <laughs> Should have got a bird's eye view of that one, though, because it went right over the top of the camera. If I'd have been Harry Carey, I'd have had my net. <laughs> Would have reached right up there and snagged that one. Throw it back. So the first two runners get on base and score on a two-run home run that time. Makes our score seven to four. Crawley comes right back, strike, fire strike one. Kept it down right there. He didn't. And, you know, he's not an overpowering pitcher, not particularly filthy stuff, so he's got to hit his spots well, and he's done that. Yeah, you know, I don't care who you are, you're going to miss a spot or two here. You know, against Smoky Mountain, he got hit around hard for a little bit and then was able to start hitting his spots and uh, picked up the victory in that in that game on the mound. There's a tapper out in front of the plate. Foul ball. So Crawley gets back ahead in the count, one and two. Looks like they've gave Aaron the uh, get ready quicker sign. I believe Crawley's only pitched, what, two innings this, this young season. He pitched two against Smoky Mountain, picked up the victory. Yeah. I believe he gave up two earned and two. He may have went three innings that game. No, two, because we went five. Yeah, because Smiley came in and closed it. Yep. In after, the fifth. Yeah. After being ahead in the count, one and two, Crawley's ran it back to full count right here. Got nobody away. Score remains seven to four in the top of the third. And there's a swing, foul ball. Sparse crowd starting to fill in a little bit now. Notice some hill walkers coming down the hill. It's a deceiving. A lot, a lot of people setting the cars up on top of the hill. Crawley gets a swing and a miss strike three for out number one. So Nice job. Good way to come back after that home run. Really kept the ball down on that batter. Like we were saying, that. You can't judge people that's here by the by the stands. A lot of people uh, setting the cars back up behind us up on the hill and enjoy the game. Crawley starts out the next hitter. I believe this victim he was a victim of a K in the first inning. Starts him out with a strike. 0 and 1. I believe it's their number six hitter. Ground ball to Pacey. Pacey stays down on it, throws on to first. Hallman's able to pick it. Nope. Gets through. Runner on first base. Crawley's throw bounce. I mean, Pacey's throw bounced in the dirt. Yep. Hallman ain't able to pick it up. About three errors in the game now and three innings. Like yeah. I said, we hadn't had a whole lot of that this year. No. No, we hadn't. Uh, Looked like he was taking his time, and then uh, looked like a runner might have been a little faster than he thought, and rushed the throw. And there's a ground ball to Hip. Hip takes it himself for one. On to first base. Gonna call him safe that time. All been able to pick out and call him safe on the turn. Two away. Got rid of the lead runner. Good play that time by Hip. Very good. You know, good decision to take that on his own. I don't, I don't think that it, I don't think it would have been any faster to flip that ball right there. No. Uh, looks like we're going to have a, a change here for Hawassi Dam. Well, I'll sit down. We've got a change here. Uh, looks like uh, Corden is coming in. Going to be their seventh hitter. Crawley quickly gets ahead, 0-1. Got two outs here in the top of the third. Score remains 7-4 to four in favor of the Maroon Devils. I 
Crawley came on in relief in the first inning as White was able to, unable to get out of the first inning. Shooter with a snap throw back to third, runner back in. Couldn't quite tell if that was a ball or a strike. No. I couldn't either. I believe they call it a strike. It's what they got up on the scoreboard. So 0-2. Concentrate on your runner right here on your batter. And he does, striking him out. So after two and a half innings of play, our score, Swain County seven, Hawassi Dam four. First pitch. Handcuffed the catcher. Looked like a good pitch. Just handcuffed, and I believe it got away and hit the umpire. That's not a way to make friends right there. Bennett lined out in the first second. inning, second inning, second inning yep. to the center fielder. Hard hit ball. It's bottom of the third, seven to four. Swain leads. Evens it back up, one and one. Looked like the same pitch. Catcher just caught it better that time. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You know, we've got the perfect view out here. What, 360 feet away from home plate? We, we got a better view than that referee or umpire. And it fouls off a fastball. Be nice to get Bennett on to lead off this end in here. Good things happen when Bennett gets on at the bottom of the order. Counts one and two. And Bennett able to foul that one away. We have got two catchers warming up. Looks like Shuler's warming up over in the bullpen now. And he has seen no action on the hill this year. Bennett takes the pitch, slaps it. Little roller down third baseline. He could beat this out easily. He does. And he does. So leadoff infield single for Bennett. Like we were just talking about. Good things seem to happen when Bennett finds a way on to lead off the innings. Good base runner. It doesn't look overly fast, but he covers a lot of ground quickly. He is fast, don't get me wrong, but just a matter of a long stride covering a lot of ground. Pitcher and catcher have had trouble today holding runners on, so look for Bennett to be running first pitch. And he loves to run. Loves to get dirty. Throw over to first. Harry over there with a quick call to go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was out there for a minute. <laughs> Bennett was ready to go. Bennett, like I said, <laughs> loves to run. <laughs> he was safe initially, and he popped up like a first baseman and missed it. There goes Bennett taking off. Pitch called strike. No throw. No throw. Got to take advantage of that. And so far, Tommy Dill's done a good job running at every opportunity. I, I'm just surprised. Not even a throw. No, I, I think they – Concede, giving you second. Uh, you know, back to second, pickoff throw, gets by into center field. Bennett goes to third base, standing up. So Bennett had a big lead on second base. They tried to throw in behind him. Pitcher and second baseman wasn't on the same page, and it gets by into center field. So now you got Bennett on third, nobody out. Like I said, when he gets on, good things happen. At the plate, Luke Burton. Luke reached on an error, I believe, in the first inning, second inning. Uh, I believe it was uh, second. In the second inning. I, I either reached on an error or maybe single. I, I can't remember. wish Diane was sitting out here with us. She'd have a scorebook. She could tell us exactly. But I know he did come across a score run in the second inning. She can recite that thing play by play to you. I can't read the first thing on it. Oh, nice hit. There's Bennett trying to go the other way down the right field line. That ball's going to be foul. Burton, excuse me. Yeah. It was a good job by Burton that time. Real good job. Sometimes he has a tendency to uh, get out ahead of it. You can throw it 95 miles an hour, and somehow he'll manage to get out ahead of it. That time he stayed back and waited and trusted it and almost picked him up a double down the right field line. Luke and is always like fast pitching. Always. 
But it looked like that time he was trying to go to right field, get that run in. Counts one and two. Ball misses up and in. Good eye. Bennett on third base, and he's dying, dying to run. <laughs> dying to run. Looks like Dill's got him over there by his belt buckle, trying to hold him back. <laughs> and there's oh, Burton with a fly hit. ball to center field. Looks like he's going to be deep enough to score the run. Bennett tags, and he's going to go in standing up. So, Well, no, he's sliding. Uh, he's going to slide. he got to get dirty. So Burton comes through and does his job excellently there as he is able to get a sacrifice fly and bring in the runner with nobody out. That's going to bring up one out now. Chris White coming to the plate. Not a good sign when your pitcher throw it over in the bullpen and your catcher goes running back to the fence to get it, Perry. <laughs> Not a good sign you got two catchers out there in the bullpen. <laughs> White takes strike one. I shouldn't say that. Shuler's a good pitcher. Pitched a lot for us during the fall. Hadn't had any action so far this baseball season. and but It seems not to make a whole lot of difference, Shuler. He just goes out there and pumps strikes. There's White laying down a bunt. Going to be foul. I, I don't believe Shuler has thrown. October. Since he's Well, in October, but as far as for Swain High, uh, Varsity, he's he's never thrown. I don't think he ever threw for JV. He never threw for middle school. Usually he's the only catcher we got. Yeah, well, we got Aaron. That's a luxury this year. Aaron is uh, there. White grounds back to the pitcher. Two away. Going to bring up the top of the order here, Hip. Hip was... Tried to bunt his way on in the first inning. Yeah. Second inning, he reached base on a error. I believe he hit one of the third baseman when nobody was at home at second base. I know he came around yes. and scored in the third inning, second inning. I, I believe you're right. I believe you're right. And there's a pop foul out of play. Schuler, um, excuse me, hip down the count 0-1. Top of your order here. You'd like to see this inning extend for at least four or five more hitters. Good off-speed pitch there. And my phone won't quit ringing off the hook today. The only day I'm popular, game day. Ah, uh, there's nice a nice shot. shot that time by Hip. Right over the second baseman. Hip making his turn. Ball coming in. He's going to settle for a single. Great, great at bat right there. Nice hit. Ben Pacey coming up. I'd look for, I'd look, really look for Hip to try to steal right here. Well, now you said single, but I'm thinking that's a double right there because you know he's going to first pitch. Well, yeah, that's true. That's so true. far, they haven't shown us they can throw anybody out. No. Hip, as far as I know, he's never been thrown out at second base in high school or JV. No, I, I can. I've never recalled any time he's been thrown out. So I guarantee you he has got to – I don't even think Dale's going to waste time giving a sign. I think he's hit his dollar across there. Hey, you're going. <laughs> Pacey at the plate, two-hole hitter. Squares, takes upstairs. Well, we're going to throw it now right back to the pitcher. They're conceding that. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I just – I wouldn't do that. I, don't I, think I mean, I'm, I'm going to throw it anyway. Yeah, I got nothing to lose. I got nobody in scoring position. Now I do. You know, I'm going to throw that. I might get lucky. I believe that was a ball care that they I, didn't I, call. I, I believe it was. And you, you've seen that a lot this year. I don't think they know what a ball key is. No. A Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge. A uh, lot of times. Uh, quick pitches. Yeah. Never come set. Just rolling through. <laughs> Got two down here. Hip on second. Pacey at the plate. There's a ground ball. Hip tries to get in front of it. Throw on a cross, and it's off the glove of the off first the baseman. Glove. Here goes Hip all the way around, and he's going to score. Pacey going to go in standing at second base. Makes a big turn out there. And that's going to bring up Allman with another runner in scoring position. Allman has singled up the middle, drove in one, and got hit by a pitch. 
Good job by him that time. He just kind of danced right yep. in front of the shortstop on that ground ball. Kind of took his eyes off what he was doing. Looked like he's trying to do two steps. Yep. Stuck his leg out there. Yep. Messed with the shortstop a little bit so he couldn't see the ball and <laughs> took off. I'm going to chance to drive in another run here. Shortstop sneaks in behind. Hit and run on. Foul ball down the left field line out of play. I hope the hit and run was on. I think it's just, I don't know. <laughs> Altman's going to swing no matter what. <laughs> he can give it. I mean, he is not bashful about swinging. And he took a rip at that one. Yeah, he did. That one, he wanted somewhere over there in somebody's yard. That one looked fat to him. Yeah. Now he's behind in the count 0-2. Score here nine to four as Swain's able to push across a couple runs here in this inning. Pacey's still on second base, two outs. Almond backs out. Mr. Popular gets another phone call. Let's see if Almond's able to come through here with two strikes on him, two outs, get this run across. Takes low in the dirt. Pacey's stealing on the play, and he's easily in the third base. Yeah, it's a big place to be right there because the uh, yep. ball gets by the catcher. You score without Allman having to put it in play. Exactly. And just as we say that, ball gets by the catcher, and Pacey walks in. Smart play that time taking third base on that yep. one. Don't know if it's good coaching or just. Players knowing their responsibility, but like I said, push one across that the benefit of a hit. Uh, pitcher didn't even look at him. Uh -uh. He just he just throwing. Pacey took off. Score now ten to four in the bottom of three. Count goes full now. Pitch outside and away. Gets by the catcher again. I tell you what, Kitch's gonna have to have some gate rating food because he's ran to that backstop a lot today. <laughs> he's got his mile in. He has. <laughs> Full count here. Pitcher trying to get on the chase there. Had nothing to do with it. And Almond fouls away another one down the left field line. He just let that pitch get deep, looked at it a long yeah. time, and thought, well, I better fight it off. Yeah. The last two he's fouled off have been run deep on him. Comes a full count delivery. Almond fouls it off again. So long at bat here. And a good at bat. Pile yeah. up some pitches for the pitcher. And he's thrown some pitches already today. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be interested to know how many how many pitches he's thrown today. Count remains full, two out. And ball inside, gets by the catcher again. There goes Allman down to first base. Doesn't look like he's feeling any ill effects getting hit in the knee, does it? No. He? You know, huge game tomorrow. Uh, absolutely. Huge game. And you, you know they're going to roll Mike Mahan out on the mound for Rosman Tigers. That's their, that's their ace. That's their man, and uh, we're going to have to roll Allman out there. And I'll tell you what, that's going to be a battle. It is uh, two good battles last yes, year. Yes, yes. That's going to be a – I believe that's going to be a great game. Shuler steps into plate. Hit the ball hard twice. There goes Allman taking out. Oh, they throw with that speed. Not a chance. Well, we understand why they don't throw. Yeah. Yeah. When Allman goes in standing up, it, <laughs> I love him to death, but he is not blessed with a ton of foot speed. Two way here. Count two and oh. You know, as we, as we were saying earlier, is. 
uh, Blue Ridge and uh, this Hawassi Dam are in the Big Smoky Mountain Conference this year. Highlands did not field a team. Nanahala didn't field a team. Looks like a big pop-up, a shooter. Going to be trouble. That'll play in off the glove of the catcher. Yep. Get a second chance. But uh, they're going to they're gonna have a long season unless they can get somebody to throw to second base. Absolutely, because, I mean, this ain't, you know, teams are going to take advantage of that. Yeah. You're going to give it up. They're going to take it. You know, maybe you get ahead 15 to nothing, 12 to nothing, something like that, and, you know, you settle it down. But right. until that point, you got your horses, and they're going. Count two and one. And yeah. this, this is probably their number one pitcher on the mound for them. Uh, I know their shortstop throws, and he throws well. Uh, and, you know, for a school like Hawassi Dam, you know it's got to be tough. Yes. You don't have, a, uh, I mean, a, a very small pool to choose from. You're going out there and playing 16 conference games, and, and the Smoky Mountain Conference is strong this year. Right, right. You're going to have to roll out some good pitching out there every game. And uh, like I said, we're fortunate in that we have got a very deep pitching staff, a deep ball club this, this year. A lot of juniors, only what one senior on the entire roster, yeah. one sophomore, a junior laden team. Ball gets by the catcher, Schuler walks, Alman makes a big turn. Didn't really have anything to swing at except that one, maybe he popped up there. And yep, he should have just went ahead and took off around first base and went yeah, to second. Yeah, now they're not exactly. going to let him run. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Oh, I noticed he had his shin guards back on when he was coming up to bat. So I'm 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 thinking that uh, <laughs> the experiment may have failed. It, well, <laughs> I, I think you look at the scoreboard and well, you don't want him to throw because you got to have him. He's your catcher. Yeah. Looks like at this time, Hawassi Dam's going to make a pitching change. So we're going to take time out here with our score ten to nothing in favor of the Maroon Devils. Back to action. Crawley up to bat. Pitch and change for Hawassi Dam. Crawley lays down a bunt. And that's going to go fair. Going to stay fair. So Crawley, the last man you'd expect. Well, now maybe they're going to call it foul. Who knows? Well, pitcher, well, pitcher was standing there looking at it. And he looked at the umpire. And the umpire's not going to make a call until you pick somebody it touches it. Yep. And then he reached down, picked it up, and then the umpire makes the call foul ball. <laughs> so, and I'll correct my boo boo from when we went away to break. It's ten to four. <laughs> Stephen was nice enough to point that out to me. <laughs> uh, Two outs here in the bottom of the third. Runners on first and third. Sneed on first. Alman on third. And Justin Crawley at the plate. And he's going to take one off the chest. I will say this about our kids. You're going to throw at them, they're going to take it. Yeah. They're going to take it. Find a way out. Can't score unless you got runners. And our kids, you come inside, they'll, they'll, they'll wear it. And here comes Sean McCourtney. Going to come in and run for Crawley. Yeah, Crawley still is our pitcher, yeah, isn't he? That's he is right. Still the pitcher. That's right. That's a nice little move there. Don't make that change. You know, come out the next inning and so switch your pitchers up, but you still got you got a little bit more speed yep. on, the, on the bases right there. Bases loaded. Brad rolling up. Oh, that's a and good hard rolling. hit ball. That baby's coming. It's out of here. That's, that's a, a grand, grand slam, slam home run. For Brad rolling. Uh, Brad rolling. Best swing I've seen him take all year. Yes. Stayed in, front side closed, drove it. No, he hit one at Grosman last year. First home run on the year for the Maroon Devils this year is uh, Brad Rowland right. goes grand slam. Hey, if you're going to make yes. it, make it good. And Brad Rowland definitely did that. Puts that magic number up to 10 runs. 14 to 4. Bennett steps in. 
And that is something this devil team does lack, a lot of power. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to beat you to death with home runs. Capable of it. A lot of players capable of it, but it's not their game. There's Bennett popping one up down the uh, right-hand side, the first base side. Ball's going to go out of play. Roland gets those surprise home runs. You ain't expecting it all of a sudden surprise. Yeah. They hit one up at Rosman last year. Yeah. That's Hit one in fall. Yeah. That fall ball over Murphy. Wooden bat. Wooden bat. Yep. Absolutely annihilated that thing. Yep. Everybody just stood there and looked at each other. It's like, where'd that come from? But he, he's, he, and he did it in Little League, too, yep. down there. Got a good, good pop in his bat. Yeah. Bennett takes low and away. Like you said, now we're up to that magic number 10. And you know Dills want to keep this game short. No disrespect to Iwasi Dam or anybody else, but you got two more games this week. By two, two. There's Very Bennett good. with a line drive over to right field and played there nicely by the right field. That's going to bring it into the third inning with the Maroon Devils up 14 to 4. Now, top of the fourth. First one's a strike. Crawley went to third. Roland went to left. Roland went to left. Bennett's out. Bennett's out. That's it. Second pitch. A little off outside corner. Smiley's a hard thrower. 14 to 4. Counts 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. Looked like he's a little late there. <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> Smiley running up there pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Going to have to develop that second pitch a little bit. Other than that, he, if he ever develops a second and third pitch, he's going to be lights out. Be awesome. Just like that. Three pitches. See you. Well, he he messed up on one. He had a ball. Uh, that was just a that was just a setup pitch. <laughs> he set him up. Had him looking away and came back inside twice. Great job right there. Good start to the inning for uh, Aaron Smiley. I know Pat and Mitchell are excited. Oh, yeah, I spoke to them uh, up there in Blue Ridge, tickled to death, just ecstatic about him being up here with these these young men. Great group of kids, great group of young men. Uh, you, you just can't say enough about them. Uh, decent, uh, decent, well-behaved, uh, conduct ourselves with the utmost respect to uh, to their elders and, and uh, each other. So what you're trying to say is they're a positive influence on other kids out here and on the community. Absolutely. There you go. I'll Hands agree with that. Hands down. I'll agree with that. We won't go wrong with all of these in our community when they grow up or and now. I like it because, you know, there's, there's no animosity towards each other, no jealousy. No. Brad Rowland hits a grand slam. Everybody's running out there hooping and hollering. Exactly. Exactly. And that's a good thing about these kids. Any given night, a different one is quite capable of getting the job done, whether it be pitching in the field with a stick. They don't just rely on one or two players. No, no. Count here, two and one. Smiley yep. facing the leadoff hitter, Helton. Helton's reached base twice today, once on a walk and a sharp single to left field. Scored one of the Hawassi Dam runs. Inside corner. Great pitch right there. Great pitch. Two and two. Coach has always told me two and two. Hitters count. Three and two. Pitchers count. I always thought that was kind of strange, too. Yeah. Smiley tries to make him fish outside. Yep. Helton not going. We'll bring up full count here. One out. Top of the four. Shades coming in over that, uh, over the batter now. He gets around on it. Foul ball down third baseline. And like we were talking about before, this kid's a good hitter for Hawassi Dam. Got a chance to watch him play in some in the fall, and 
all through middle school and high school, seen him play some. He's a good hitter. And even on that pitch by Smiley, he, would, he just wasn't sure. Yeah. He was kind of falling out of the way and like, uh-oh. So it shows you what kind of movement Smiley does get. Full count. Smiley winds up, delivers. Ground ball to Pacey. Takes his time. Throw across the first. One away. Good job. Should be should be two down. Yep, two down. Strike out. Yep, strike out. You you know we're a little biased, Kevin, but I, you know I, I'd like I go out on a limb and say that this could be Swain's best team that, that we that we've ever we've ever put on a field. And the reason I say that is we've had great we've had great players, but as a team. In each and every position, you know, and I, I am biased, but uh, I believe that I believe this team could be, if not already, the the best team we've we've run out on a field, baseball field. It's I, a, it's as solid as a team as I've seen at Swain, one through nine in the field. Yeah, it, it, they're just solid pitchers. You know, you don't have that dominating pitcher like Stephen Cook or right. Nathan Holcomb. Right. You don't have somebody that's going to come in there and throw upper 80s or 90 miles an hour. But you got guys that are going to grit their teeth, and if they yeah. throw 80, 81, they're going to challenge yeah. you, and they're going to dare you to hit it. And, uh, you know, I tell you, maybe the only thing this team is missing is somebody that throws 90 or 91. Yeah. yeah, that would be a nice thing to have right there is Smiley turns around and strikes out the third hitter for three outs. And after three and a half, our score remains Swain 14, Hawassi Dam 4. Back to action here in the bottom of the fourth. Leading off the inning, Luke Burton. It's going to be a foul ball. I believe that is Burton, isn't it? That's Luke. Yep. Yep. Beautiful day out here at the ball field. Sun's been up, been nice and warm. Sun's going to go down. i it's going to cool off real quick. It's going to get nasty. Burton, pop foul down the right field side and out of play. But you like to see that out of Burton. Staying back, yeah. seeing the ball a long time, head not flying out, shoulders not flying out, not trying to pull everything hard down the third baseline. I'll take 20 of them swings in a row, and I guarantee you it goes 500. A little over the top curveball there. It stayed about eye high. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Luke was Luke was uh most valuable player on that JV team last year coming up. Very well could have been. I, I believe he was. I know he's a solid center fielder covers a lot of ground out there has made our hearts a lot calmer this year absolutely <laughs> luke works back ahead in the count two and one luke's not afraid to go get it that's for sure if it's in his vicinity he's gonna go get it There's a pitch on the outside oh. corner. Burton didn't like the call. Strike three. No. He's just going over there to check with deals. Well, uh, uh, umpire rung him up. I mean, he, yeah. he he rung it up like it was strike three. I thought it was a full count right uh, here, but yeah. I could have been mistaken. Been known to happen once or twice, and somebody gave me bad information. <laughs> and there's a fly ball out to right field. And going to get out of play again. Yep. So Luke battling tough here with two strikes on him. Looks like Dills is going to make some changes this inning coming up. Looks like Jake Smith's over there with the helmet on. There's Burton. Fouls another one off. So he's battling tough in there. Good at bat for Burton right here. Full count. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. Good lick. There's Burton with the right field. It's going to drop in between the second baseman and right fielder. So Burton on with a leadoff single to start the bottom of the fourth. Going to bring second baseman Corey Hip up to the plate. I'll tell you what, I don't know what Dill's going to do, but I'm still running right here. 
Oh yeah, let's get let's get a couple of insurance right here. Yeah, you know. The ball gets by the catcher. So Burton wasn't going, but now he's in the yeah. second base, standing up. And I say a couple of insurance. I know we're I know we're up ten runs, fourteen to four, but you, you want know, to keep it short. Yeah, uh, you'd like to end this in the fifth inning, and if they did come out here and hit a couple of balls around and get a run or so, you, you still got that 10-run lead. Absolutely. Long trip tomorrow up to Rosman, big game up to Rosman. Won't you kids get home early and rest? You still got field maintenance after this. Yeah. Ball coming back in. A little break in the action right there. And hip lined a sharp single to right field his last time at bat. Yes. Right center. Maybe I'll get him on track. Ball outside. Hip goes ahead in the count 2-0. and oh. Definitely a hitter's count here. Takes Strike one on the inside corner. Good pitch to lay off yep. right there. Can't do a whole lot with that one. No. no make, him, make him throw you one. There's a foul ball out of play on the right-hand side. Looks like he fought that one off. Two twos count. Check swing. Foul ball. Yeah, that one bounced off the catcher's yeah. glove. That sun's just about ready to disappear for the night. And hip takes strike three call on the outside corner. I don't believe that's hit. I believe that was Chase Snead. Was that Chase Snead? I think so. You can't really. I mean, it was. That was Chase Snead. They look exactly alike. Got your <laughs> pants pulled up. Yeah. Their sure stance was. is exactly right. This should be hip. I'm pretty sure of it. Of course, yeah. we wouldn't have told people that. You know, They'd never they might know. not have never known the difference. I guarantee you, Lois and Jim, Jim and would have let us know. Yeah. <laughs> so Chase Snead was up to bat, and he strikes out looking at strike three. There's Hip. Popped Pop up, up on the infield. Second baseman ranges back and makes the play. Burton back to second safely. Two down. Looked like it had a hit and run on right there. Yep. You know, a lot of times that's a good read right there by Burton. Yeah, very you good. Know, you know, I pick a ball up. Tommy's pointing up there at it, too. Stop, get back to your base. A lot of times, something like them just take off and start going and don't know where the ball went. Pacey up to the plate. Burton's still at second base. Pacey with a pop fly foul ball out of play down the right field line. I'm glad you seen that, and I lost that one. Up and away. One one. One and one. Ball's gonna be outside off the catcher's mitt and Burton's going to get in third base. Ball gets by the pitcher on the throwback, scooped up by the shortstop. Burton unable to advance an extra bag. That pace just needs to come through the big two out here, right here, get that run in play in, yep. the, in the house. Takes away outside again. Three and one to count. I'm swinging anything looks big right here. That's uh, up. Had to look big, though, because it's right at his eyes. Yeah, it did. <laughs> 
Looks like Smith's going to come in. He'll be batting for Allman. Glad to see Jake Smith out here this yes. year. You know, he's took a couple years off, and uh, just just good to see him out here this year. I know the kids enjoy having him back with him. He played a long time with him through junior league and little league. and Swings and fouls strike one off. I know the kids. My son was tickled to death that Jake was back out here, and I think he's going to be a big help to this baseball team. Fast, plays the outfield well, and a big bat. He yeah. just, you know, he's getting back into the rhythm of playing, and that's tough. Runners on the corners, two out. Smith up to the plate. Takes away, even up a count at one and one. But a couple kids, Chase Snead back out for the team this year. Right. And Chase hadn't played in the, this. He took off last year and didn't play. Good to see him back. Kids enjoy having him back. Smith was swinging a miss for strike two, but a good cut. He's just always a. Uh... It was always that he was missed when yep. he, when he wasn't here. He, he like you said, he'd always been with this group. Oh, straight up, he, he got a hold of it. Looks like it might go out out of play. He get another chance at it. He little head. He's ahead on that one. He's got really. He's got really good bat speed. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, his timing's just a little off. He hadn't been in it since, I guess, they were in the eighth grade. Right. Yeah. I believe it was eighth grade. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Did he play? Uh, I don't think he played his freshman year. I don't believe he did. Uh, didn't play his freshman, sophomore. Yeah. He's been gone two years. And swing and a miss. Strike three, but... Throw down to first base. Going to get by the first baseman, so Smith's still going to reach. Pace is going to go into third. Smith's going to stay where he's at, and Burton's going to score. So swing and a miss, strike three with two outs. It doesn't matter if they're all occupied. Uh, that's true. Take that's off true. and go. That's going to give us that one-run cushion we were talking about. Schuler coming up to the plate. Chance to give us a four-run cushion. I'd take a two-run cushion right here. Something solid through the infield. Runner still on the corner, two away. Shooter on top of that one. Fouls it straight back. Joe Morgan always says you foul a pitch straight back, you're all over it. And I'm sitting there thinking, if you foul a straight pitch straight back, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're all over it, that ball's going over a wall somewhere. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I never could understand that, but that's Joe Morgan. Oh. And Shooter, you hate to see that. Check swing strike. Little foul ball. If you go swing, commit yourself to it. That's it. That's it. So you just waste one when you do that. Ah, Shuler's a good O2 hitter. Best in the business. He's lived on it. Good take there. That pitch was close. Drives me crazy. <laughs> they all do that. Works back count, back to even, two and two. Here's our special moment again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Tell you what, I'm up there. I'm just, I'm swinging right here. Uh, you know, if it's anything even close, uh, it's a little low in the dirt. Ball Full gets, count. Pace is going to score. That'll give us that two-run, ten-run cushion. That's it. <laughs> Smith moves up to second base on the place. He's in scoring position. It's 16-4. Oh. to four. We'll count here. Ball low and inside, and here goes Smith. He's taking advantage of the pass ball down to third. Schuler hustles down to first base. <laughs> I got to give him a hard time. Looks like he's going to leave him in to run. Uh -oh. No, no. There's a hand up. No, the hand's up. <laughs> he's calling. He's calling time. He's, uh, I don't think he's got anybody left to run for him. Oh, you got. Well, he's sending Chris White out there. Chris will run. Chris loves to get there. Yeah, dirty. he does. Yeah, he does. So if I'm not mistaken, Schuler's OBP today is one thousand. 
been on base every time, hasn't he? I believe he has. It's ugly, though. It's I don't effective. believe he's got a hit. I know he hit one at the third baseman that one time hard. Yeah. He's hit a couple hard balls. Sean McCourtney's checked into the game. He's up at the plate. Runners at the corners, two outs. Swain up 16-4 to four here in the bottom of the fourth. McCourtney takes low, ball two. like to see McCourtney get a big base hit right yes. here. Yes. Yes, I would. Do wonders for his confidence, too. He digs in. Takes ball three. Now, they may be pitching around McCourtney right here. I'm just impressed that White hadn't gone to second I know. <laughs> you know he's dying, too. <laughs> I guarantee you he's biting at the bit over there, wondering what in the world, why why haven't I got sent yet? I believe we got a little bit of a mercy call right there on <laughs> yeah. ball four. But. Yeah, definitely. At this point in the game, you want your batter swinging the bat. Ball gets back to the screen. Walk him to first and run him from third. That's it. So Smith's going to score. White moves up to second. McCourtney takes first on the play. Believe bring up Garrett Taylor here. Maybe going for a pitching change. I believe we are. So let's take time out and uh, let the pitcher warm up. Substitution into the game for Swain High. Garrett Taylor now at the plate. Takes outside on the corner for strike one. New pitcher into the ball game for Hawassi Dam. I believe that's the third baseman's came in to pitch now. He's been all around the field. I saw him yeah. playing second base for a little while. Taylor in the hole 0 and 1. Good spot for Taylor to pick up a hit this year right now. And oh, good. pops it up on the infield. And plays made. That's out number three. We're going to go to the top half of the fifth and see if Swain can't shut this thing down here. And here we go to the top of the fifth. Perry is enthralled because Tyler Schuler is now on the hill, and he starts him off with a fastball on the outside corner. Painted the black on that pitch. Schuler's like an ATEC machine. <laughs> Fire strike after strike after strike. He's going to make you put it in play. And there goes. That's in play. Long and ball over and the fence. Schuler now joins the frequent flyer club. As that's a leadoff home run here. Looked like Sean McCourney was going to go back to the fence and climb at that time. Don't know if he could have got it still, but. Schuler has now been inducted. <laughs> yeah. You know, he always makes fun of the pitchers when they give up a home run. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> now Schuler will get his induction papers into the frequent flyer club. <laughs> Two They'd pitches, keep... one earned. They keep it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a strike. A better pitch that time. His location yeah. was a little up on that other. But I'll tell you what, these Hawassi Dam kids have shown some pop. They have. Yeah, you know, They've got some good sticks. It's just like we said at the beginning of the game. One through four, they're, they, they can hurt you. There's Schuler painting the black again. Ahead 0-2. Let's see if he makes a better pitch this time up 0-2. Like one in the dirt maybe. So the duckle curve. <laughs> and there it is. Laid off. I don't know how he laid off that pitch. It Schuler, good. It did. Schuler's patented knuckle curve there. Other changes around the infield. Garrett Taylor now playing first base as Schuler paints the outside corner. I don't know that he's so much painted your pin pace. He did a good job framing it. He did. Excellent job. <laughs> he pulled right that there. right in there on the corner. Uh, Speaking of pace, pace is now behind the plate. Garrett Taylor at first base. Still got hip at second. Aaron Smiley at short, Jake Smith at third base, Sean McCourtney in left, Burton in center, and Chase Snead in right field. Schuler on the hill, trying to pick up the, I would say a save, but it's not. How about a hold? <laughs> That's it. Ball's behind his hitter, 1-0. and oh. Solid shot right there at, all, at Smiley. Tries to pick it up out of the dirt and unable to do it. Be interesting to see how Diane scores that hit her in there. Ball was tattooed. That was that was a hard hit ball. That was a hard hit ball. 
Shooter going to have to work out of the stretch right now. I about give him a hit. Aaron being a catcher and everything, you know he's going to go get it if he can. He did. He, he tried to get it. He did. He covered it up well. Yeah. Shuler's got one away right here. Working on that ERA right now, it stands at 21. <laughs> this is good, though, for the kids. Yeah. It is. You yeah. got to have fun. Yeah. You got to have fun. Sometimes you take a lot of things for granted. Yep. And you know, every now and then you got to have fun. Yeah. You hate for it to be at the expense of anybody, but right. you know, every now and then you just, they're kids. You know, we they spoke smile. About, we spoke about that earlier. Deals up there in Blue Ridge, and, you know, right here, same thing. Uh, try and make it a little fun and enjoy yourself. Uh, it is. You know, Pacey loves to catch. Oh yeah, he absolutely loves to catch. Tyler loves to pitch. Yeah. If Ben's got something he can get dirty at, he he absolutely like, he like to do it. I think him and uh, – Ball gets in between the wickets. Runner's going to advance second base. Pacey's able to get it, holds the throw. Through the five hole that time by Pacey. Counts two and one. Got one away here in the top of the fifth. Maroon Devil lead is 17 to five. Have hit the ball well today. Handful of strikeouts that I can remember, if that many. A couple, two or three is all we've done. Schuler comes back up, evens the count at two and two. I think we only had what four strikeouts at Blue Ridge, maybe, maybe four, three, four, three, four, four. Ball in the dirt, Pacey unable to stop it, gets away. Runner advances to third. Shula really needs to buckle down right here because yeah. if this run gets in, it's going to drive his ERA up to forty-two. <laughs> I'm just glad for them extra runs now. There you go. Yeah, keep that thing at ten. Shula opted to go from the windup here. And he gets a ground ball to second base. Hip up with it on the first and going to get the out at first, but the run is going to score. Got two away here. Bad news for Schuler though. Right now, his ERA average stands at 42. 42. <laughs> it's the bad thing about working in relief. I don't think it'll hurt his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, if I was Pacey, I'd sit up on that outside corner <laughs> every time. He likes that spot and he doesn't miss it. Two way, nobody on. Strike two, two down. Would like to thank Mr. Clobridge, Steve, for filming this game today. Steve Claxton for the opportunity to do this ball game for y'all to enjoy today. Uh, sometimes Perry tends to talk a lot, but we'll try and keep him down. <laughs> Strike three called on the outside corner, so that's going to be a final now. Swain 17, Hawassi Dam 6. Good ball game. Advantage of the scoreboard. I'm going to show you a picture of that. We would like to thank everybody for listening, watching, Stephen for doing it, Steve Clacks for the opportunity. After this, I guess y'all are going to have the pleasure of Gary the Bear Ayers doing the remaining ball games, which is always a treat. Gary does a really good job, and it's a pleasure to have him doing this. We're glad we could help fill in while Gary was busy today. At the end of the ball game, Swain victorious, 17-5 to over Hawassi Dam. Wednesday, Thursday at Rosman, at West Henderson. Might see how good we are then. What do you think, Perry? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I believe we've, we've definitely got the capability of winning both those ball games. Uh, Rosman. Uh, that's going to be a game. West Henderson, whew, uh, they're loaded every year. Jimmy Height, he he rolls a team out there that is uh, definitely ranked. Uh, and he ain't going to pull no punches against his hometown no, team. No, they, uh, Jimmy, if if he can beat you, he's going to beat you. He don't care if you're from Swain County or not, and he'll take more pride in beating you from Swain County. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, once again, thanks, thanks for joining us. We've had a great time. Swain 17, Hawassi Dam 5, Swain goes to 4-0, 2-0 in conference this year.